Welcome back. What we're going to do now is I want to show you how you're going to take your underglazed cup that has three to five layers of underglaze on it and you are going to be doing your carved design. Now remember that you will have already designed some ideas, two for the Scraffito and two for the Mialica. And you're going to take your favorite design for the Scraffito and you're going to be transferring it to your pot. Now, I'm going to be selecting the geometric one and I'm going to flip this upside down and I'm going to start with it upside down. Now, because I am doing something that is kind of a regular pattern, I'm going to first of all mark out some regular intervals so I know that it's going to be fairly evenly spaced. If yours is not important that it's evenly spaced, this is not an important uh, step for you. For me, I did want it somewhat evenly spaced. Now you might notice that I am actually using a pencil. The pencil is an option for you with the glaze. If you are uh, working kind of lightly with it, you can certainly draw directly on it. So let's say for instance if I want to make a nice straight horizontal line. Okay. You may or may not be able to see it, but I have a nice little horizontal line that I can use now as a reference. So you can draw directly on it with the pencil, or you can carve directly on it. So see, I can draw on it, and it's, it's not going to come off. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do, though, is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you some of the tools that we might use for carving. These are the loop tools, the ribbon tools. I like the miniature ribbon tools if you're doing small areas. If you're doing a very large area, the large loop tools are nice for uh, just carving away some larger background areas. Also, the little double ball stylus tools are quite nice. These have a little, it's like a needle tool except it has a little ball on the end of it and that will allow you to uh, carve away nice smooth little lines. And a good old wooden pencil is also a great uh, carving tool. Um, I am just going to start out by making my first line with the mini ribbon tool. And I'm going to go ahead and draw that and you can see how that's going to look. Okay. Now, depending on how fat of a line you want, you can use a different mini ribbon tool. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start out by making a uniform pattern all with the same thickness of mini ribbon tool. And I did not get all of these terribly evenly spaced, but I'm not all that worried about it either. Okay, so I've got my first set of lines drawn. Now, if I want to switch to a totally different line, if I want like a, a bigger line, maybe one of these, instead of using, this was done with the tip of the triangle one, maybe for this one, maybe I want to go with a slightly bolder line. So let's say, I'm going to go ahead and make a larger line here. I'll show you that. So there we go. That's a thicker line. So depending on what kind of effect you want. I'm going to go ahead and do some pattern here and then I'll speed it up and I'll stop when I have some of that done. So now I have my Scraffito cup. Once the underglaze is done being carved, then you're going to let it dry. It's going to fire. Then we're going to clear glaze it, and then we'll fire it again. The color will intensify when it clear glazes, and uh, then it will be all done after the second firing. So 
I hope that you learned a little th something uh, about some of the tools that we use and, and how to go about it. And uh, you always just want to check to make sure that you don't have any sharp burrs on there that will end up by being uh, rather sharp at the end. And uh, again, make sure you have your initials on it, put it in the drying cabinet, and that's how you do a Scrofito cup.